trees. I have a couple videos out there talking about little worm-like black things running around inside these masks. And so I, I got this mask, just got off of a flight and uh, they forced me to wear this damn thing. So I went ahead and I broke this out. I ran a light through one end, uh, kind of sat this on the edge of the table, went through it with a fine tooth comb here, uh, looking for any little black lines that I could find. And right where you see that X at, I did find something, um, which I was actually surprised to find it. But as I was as I was looking through there, I was able to locate one of the little black lines that we were talking about, or that they were looking at. And when I found the little black line, I also noticed that it wasn't moving. It wasn't moving at all. Um, so what I did was I took a hair dryer and I lit that little I lit that little black thing up with a hair dryer for like five minutes. And I noticed it moved when I did that. Now I don't see it right now because I moved it when I was blowing it around with a hair dryer, but I got the thing to to be exactly where I could see it. I highlighted it and then I heated it up with a with a hair dryer, like I mentioned, and I noticed that it moved. Well, what was happening was the hair dryer was literally blowing it across the top of that thing. It was also creating, I think, some static electricity, and I think the static electricity, as you move something near it, was causing it to make the motion. I couldn't make it do it when I didn't have anything it, it just didn't move while i sat there and watched it it only moved when i interacted with it and with a source of heat or um, when i was poking at it with a pen and i think that was just static that was causing it so um, i think uh i think that's pretty much debunked that there's a bunch of bugs running around in here i think it's just a different colored cloth that got stuck in here and as we're moving it around as we're poking at the bear it's just um it's just us poking that's causing it so that's my two cents worth